watching Fox 13's Good Day Tampa Bay. Uh, Jennifer, I am in Sarasota this Friday morning, and I'm going to ask you another important question. Yes, To sir. meet or not to meet? That is the question. That uh, will be the question I'm going to ask many times to this not morning. meet. You know me, not to meet. You're, you are not I'm, going to meet, I'm and I am going to meet. to meet. We're all going to meet the owners behind Hamlet's Eatery. Oh. And what makes this food truck, yeah, it's a food truck, and uh, what makes Hamlet's Eatery interesting is that they will ask you that question to meet or not to meet love that because for every dish they offer they offer a vegan option yes for every single dish on the food truck and it's a it's a kind of a cool food truck setup because it's permanently located in the courtyard of the bazaar at apricot and lime which is a really fun indie market that i've actually profiled before mm -hmm. bunch of different vendors great shopping experience that's inside well outside here in the courtyard they've added this food truck hamlet's eatery so we're going to talk to the chef talk to the concept and idea behind this we'll look at the uh the meat dishes mm -hmm. and then the vegan dishes and kind of have a little compare and contrast yeah. and we're gonna have a good day this september 4th 2020 Nine for 2020. I like right that. Here in You're uniting people this morning. You realize that because meat eaters and, and non meat eaters, you usually have to go separate, separate places together. Can we all please just sit down at one yes. great table and, have a meal and, and share a meal and break like bread that. together? Love it. All That's right, Charlie. Good. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Walter Allen, Hamlet once famously said, Give me the line, Walter. To be. Or not to be, that is the question. Thank you very much. That's exactly what Hamlet asked. Well, the food truck called Hamlet's Eatery is asking another important question, to meet or not to meet. Because for every dish they offer in this food truck, they offer a vegan option. We're taking a little tour of Hamlet's Eatery. It's located in Sarasota, and this is where we are having a good day, Tampa Bay. We hope you stick around and have one with us. Good day to you. All right, I got Walter's line reading. Jennifer, it's your turn. Give me Hamlet's fav famous to be line. be or not to be. That is the question. Ooh, ooh. Mm, Jen, you got a call back. Walter will be in touch. Uh, Jen, you definitely, uh, you've made it to the next round. Uh, well done. Uh, we're we're uh, paying a little homage to Hamlet as we discover Hamlet's Eatery. It's a new food truck in Sarasota where they ask the question, to meet or not to meet? Because for every dish they offer, they offer a vegan option. We will talk to the owners of Hamlet's Eatery when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Sarasota this morning, right in between apricot and lime. And I know that because we're right next door to the bazaar at apricot and lime. It's an indie market, bunch of different vendors, great place to do a little shopping, open Thursday through Saturday. And this is actually their courtyard where you will now find permanently parked, at least for the next foreseeable future, Hamlet's Eatery. Kim Livingood is, uh, is the mastermind behind uh, this food truck. <laughs> I can tell by the expression on your face. Uh... I don't know if I'd be the mastermind. <laughs> that was probably that guy up there, Chef Brad. He is the visionary that had the concept to open up here. Uh, definitely the dynamic duo, the two, the two uh, driving forces behind the food truck, Hamlet's Eatery. Uh, so is the eatery, is the, is the food truck open when the bazaar is open, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays? Right now we are open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, 11 to 4, and we have plans to expand our hours when the weather gets cooler and we nice. get busier, so we want to be open more days and evenings. So it is a parked food truck. You're not going to see this rolling through Sarasota necessarily, but you could come here and enjoy. And uh, now why the, the play on Hamlet? Well, we wanted to be able to give options for people that are traditional meat eaters, but also for vegan. It's very difficult to find places where you can get both, and so now people can eat together, whether they're vegan or meat eaters. And so is the, the, uh, one of you wasn't an English major in college or something? It wasn't the love of the bard, it was more that to be or not to be, and you thought to meet or not to meet? You is know, that... I, I'm a journalism major, so did study a little Shakespeare, yeah. love the concept, love the idea, we're having fun with it. Um, a lot of our specials, we do a, a, a feel ya hot dog and a Macbeth oh. melt, so we're having fun with the concept. Oh, there you go, I like that. Uh, well, so give me an idea of the menu of Hamlet's Eatery. 
So for every meat option, there's a vegan option. So if we have pork tacos, we have jackfruit tacos. If we have sliders, we're going to be having sliders with the Beyond Meat. So a little bit of, you know, something for everybody. And this is the, uh, what did you, your, the, your partner's name is? Brad. Brad. So Chef Brad, he, he's in charge of, of the menu, the food, the ingredients. All you the do not want me to cook. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how to like boil an egg. So Chef Brad comes up with the menu, he does all the cooking, and he is brilliant. And his fries, which you're going to try later on, are epic. Oh, nice. And you uh, and your mom own the bazaar at Apricot and Lime. So that's, the, that's how you and Brad came together with this partnership. So, yeah, so what happened was the bazaar's been open. Um, for two years now, and we're what known is the Limelight District, and there's no place to eat around okay. here. So we were always hangry, and had the space to open up a, a little restaurant. And Brad had the vision, so it was a perfect partnership. Yeah, that's, that's that's good. Rule number one to starting a new business: find the the problem that exists and solve that problem. Absolutely. People here were hungry, and now they're not. <laughs> uh, Kim, thank you very much. We're going to take a look at the food that Hamlet's Eatery has to offer. So, uh, Chef Brad, uh, get busy in there. We're going to take a look at the food in the next segment. Stick around, everybody, and let's all do our best to make it a good day, Tampa Bay. Morning. Oh. To be or not to be, that is the question, whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep. Ah, uh, no more. And to sleep, to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. Sorry, just uh, brushing up on my Hamlet a little bit, because we're at Hamlet's Eatery. I mean, good enough for Hamlet, good enough for us, right? Uh, and the question they ask here is to meet or not to meet, because for every dish they offer, they offer a vegan option. So I'll continue to brush up my Shakespeare, and you continue to have a good day, Tampa Bay. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Sarasota this morning. And uh, I, I'm in between the roads Apricot and Lime. Somebody already pointed out that those run parallel. Yes, I realize that. But the name of the place is the Bazaar on Apricot and Lime because the Bazaar touches both roads. We're in between those two roads, Apricot and Lime. You got where I am? <laughs> and right next to uh, the bazaar at Apricot and Lime is this wonderful courtyard, and now that food truck permanently parked here for the foreseeable future. It is Hamlet's Eatery, and Chef Brad is the man Hello. inside the food truck cooking these days. Mm -hmm. you, you a history in, in bars and restaurants, Brad? Yes, I've run them for about 20 years now. Nice. That's my uh, first truck. Never been yeah. in... Nope. Uh, cooking inside a food truck? Not in a truck. How's that going so far? It's really nice and cold in there. It's, it's really easy. Good. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> no, it stinks. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, let's talk about so the, the, the real gimmick here, if you will. Sure. It's, it's the fact that for everything you offer, you also offer a vegan option. Absolutely. So for this segment, let's just, we'll stick with the tra traditional meat options first. Yes, sir. You, you've laid out some stuff there. You want to start with the hot dog? Sure, the hot dog. So any hot dog, obviously, we have a vegan version, we have a regular version. Um, but we can, I can show you what a regular hot dog looks like. You well, already know you, that. Yeah, we, so this is the firecracker. Let's not even talk vegan for this segment. Yep. We're going to talk vegan in the next segment. So let's just stick. Tell me so, why so that's this a is good a, hot dog. This is our firecracker hot dog. It originated on the 4th of July, and we stuck with it because it was so popular. It's a hot dog with pepper jack cheese, grilled onions, and fried jalapenos. Oh, very nice. Yep. Very nice. Uh, you want to move up to the Macbeth? Next is the M Macbeth melt. It's a play on a patty melt. What we do is we slice up hot dogs with uh, cheddar cheese, grilled onions, and a sweet ancho chili sauce. Oh, wow. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, some sliders? Sliders are the Hamlet sliders. Those are probably our most popular slider. And what it is is a grilled burger with uh, grilled onions, uh, pecans, um, balsamic glaze, and that's it. Pecans? Pecans, yes. Uh, crushed up Crushed up meat? pecans, yep. It's not in the meat. It's on top. Oh, it's on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, uh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, and then tacos? Tacos. So the beef version of our tacos is our pork tacos. It's topped off with a homemade picante and a basically spiced up sour cream with a brown sugar, garlic, and uh, lime. Very nice. Uh, now, when you, when you were coming up with the menu, 
is this is this set? Is this pretty much what you're going to stick with, or are you going to continue to kind of grow and evolve? Or? Well, we're, we're always growing. This is on our menu permanently right now, but I always run three or four specials a week as well. So we're All always right. evolving. We're always moving. So now, Chef Brad, the challenge is okay. Back into the truck, <laughs> and let me see a vegan version of all four of those things. Yes, sir. I'm on. All right, all right. That's the challenge. Brad is off back into the food truck, and when we come back, we will show you those same four dishes, but in vegan form. Which is uh, what an interesting concept. Yeah, it really is. And he listens yeah. well. You said yeah, go to Jen work, and, and he walked right to together. back to that truck. Yeah, <laughs> try it. It's Take work. orders well. <laughs> All right, Charlie. We'll see. We'll talk to you later on. Jennifer Epstein, are you familiar with the jackfruit? I Do am. You know what jackfruit it is? is large. It's bumpy yeah. and it's green. <laughs> yeah, well, this is a really big oh one, my and God. you're exactly ah. right. <laughs> this is looking. the biggest jackfruit they could find. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Literally, the so biggest big. jackfruit they could find. <laughs> so, so we're at Hamlet's Eatery, and we're talking about to meet or not to meet, and they make uh, all the traditional meat dishes, and then they offer the same exact dishes in vegan form. Well, the pork tacos are the vegan option, or jackfruit tacos. We'll take a look at the vegan options. Hamlet's Eatery in Sarasota, when Good Day Tampa Bay uh, continues. It's a good fruity workout. Uh, Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher in Sarasota this morning. There is an indie market here with, made up of several different vendors that's open Thursday through Saturday, and it's called the Bazaar on Apricot and Lime because it's right in between those two, those two roads, Apricot and Lime. Well, in the courtyard next to said Bazaar, they now have permanently, for the foreseeable future, parked a food truck called Hamlet's Eatery. So you can come here when the bazaar is open, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, and enjoy Hamlet's Eatery. And they might ask you to meet or not to meet, because for every dish they offer, they offer a vegan version. Chef Brad is the man sweating yes, himself <laughs> crazy inside the food truck in Florida in September. And you rose to the challenge. You showed us last time sliders and a, and a melt and a tacos and a, a hot dog. Yep. Now you've done the vegan version Correct. of all of them. Yep. Difficult to do? Uh, is it a challenge culinarily? No. Yeah, originally, no. when I first started learning how to cook vegan, it was. Because, okay. I mean, I make the same things I love, but I had to learn how to do it a different way. Nice. So in the beginning, yes. Well, let's start. Why don't we start? Uh, let's go left to right or our right to left. Yep. Uh, let's start with these sliders. All right. So that slider is called the Shakespeare slider, and it's made with Beyond Beef. And on the bottom, it's a homemade guacamole. And then it's a homemade, well, it's not homemade, but made eggplant bacon and uh, topped with spinach and uh, balsamic glaze. Wow, that sounds good. All right, the tacos. Now, I, I think I held up the world's largest jackfruit in a second ago. <laughs> Correct. Uh, the tacos are actually jackfruit? They are jackfruit tacos, yep. And if they look exactly the same as the pork, it's because it's the same thing. Just made with jackfruit instead. So, oh, so, so that's a whole make the content. All the sauces all the and same. Yep. yep. The same. Exactly the same. Very nice. And that's kind of neat because two then two, a vegan and a and a meat eater can uh, and a carnivore can both sure. can both order the tacos and they're and they're getting a very similar experience. Yep. Uh, and next is the the melt. Yes. So this is our actually our portobello sandwich. Um, it's on a multigrain bread. Uh, it's a portobello mushroom that's been soaked in balsamic and then it's grilled with uh, house made red peppers. Um, uh, sauteed onions, I'm sorry. sorry. And it's topped off with a sweet horseradish, uh, sweet horseradish glaze. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the hot dog. The hot dog, yep. It's a vegan hot dog. It's a field roast hot dog. And it's our Ophelia dog. So it's a baby spinach tossed in that same sweet honey, horseradish honey sauce. Well, it's not honey, it's a different sweetness. And then topped off with roast red peppers. Very nice, Chef Brad. Congratulations. And I think what's really neat about that is whether you're strictly vegan or not, I mean, those all sound really good. I would Correct. eat any of those, and Absolutely. I'm not necessarily anything. <laughs> As you can oh, tell by watching. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Brad. I appreciate it. There you go. A little vegan options, a little meat options, a little something for everyone. Charlie, I'm right along with you. I don't classify myself as anything, just hungry. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm just hungry. Give it, it tastes good. Let's eat it. Well, I, go. on the other hand, am a very picky eater, and what you just showed. Picky. Oh, picky. <laughs> It looks very good. Go to a restaurant with Jen Epstein. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm going to bring you here, Jen. Next time we go out, we can we can come here to eat. <laughs> yes. I love it. All right, Charlie. Thanks. <laughs> and Charlie Belcher is at Hamless Eatery. And uh, we were talking about picky eaters. Uh, Natalie is a picky eater as well. So this would be a perfect spot for her. Oh, date night. <laughs> well, Walter, let's not insult our vegan friends. Just because someone chooses to be vegan does not make them picky. No, she's not vegan. She's not even, <laughs> she's just picky. She's oh, not even she just picked it. Oh, okay. Well, well, I can't. I don't know if. I mean, you're putting a lot of pressure on Hamlet's eatery at this point, too. Then I, I mean, it's not the picky eatery, but we should make. Oh, we should invent the picky eatery. We should. And we, and we just everything like make it all the high maintenance just people. Make it yourself. Yeah. Just make it yourself. Just cereals. Yeah. yeah. Not not that Natalie is high maintenance. I didn't mean to ins uh, insinuate that either. I I got to get out of this minefield. Uh, let me just tell you that I'm in Sarasota. And that I am in between uh, Lime Avenue and Apricot Avenue, and it's known as the Lime District. And the bazaar is an indie market, vendors in there, uh, many different vendors, a great place to shop Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. But they said they needed more eating options, so they drove this food truck here and parked it right outside. Hamlet's Eatery. And yes, a little something for everyone, as long as you're either a meat eater or a vegan. So stick around. I'll tell you all about it when Good Day Tampa Bay continues on this Friday. And Charlie Belcher is wrapping up things at a very cool place this morning. It's called Hamlet's Eatery. To meet or not to meet. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Sarasota this morning. Happy Friday to you. We are right in between Apricot and Lime Avenue. In fact, that big Apricot and Lime building over there, that is the bazaar on Apricot and Lime because it actually touches both avenues. It's in the middle. And in the courtyard, you see they have this lovely courtyard here. They decided to park a food truck uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, Kim's idea, was this your idea? It was my idea to have food, but it was Chef Brad's idea to do the concept of vegan and meat options. Very nice. It is called Hamlet's Eatery and a play on the to be or not to be. They ask to meet or not to meet. Basically, every dish offered, you have a vegan option. That's correct. So let's talk about how people can get here and how they can enjoy this. I see you're between apricot and lime, but how do you tell people where well, we are? We're in the newly designated Limelight District, okay. which is home to a lot of hidden gems like us. We're definitely destined. Nation. We're in Sarasota, pretty much I say close to Ed Smith Stadium. People okay. seem to know that area. And we are here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 10 to 3. And let's talk about the bazaar for a minute. How many different vendors inside there? We have over 30 different vendors. So that many and now? Wow. some of the booths even have like 30 different artists within that. So we oh, are wow. home to over you know 50 local vendors and it's clothing and it's original art and i saw a uh, somebody's going to help you redesign your your cabinets or something we have a little bit of everything yeah, there's a music i mean you see music, the music compound, compound right where there. you can take live le music lessons virtually or online we do events out here in the courtyard there's fresh fruits and vegetables in there we now have organic fresh like fruit available that's where we got the jackfruit yep oh okay nice so we have something for everybody inside the bazaar so you had the well. shopping and not enough food so the food truck here will be open anytime the bazaar is open? Well, we are right now open 11 to 4, okay. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but we have plans to expand our hours and days. I got you. And the bazaar, what are the hours of the bazaar? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 10 to 3. 10 to 3, yes. 11 to 4 for the food yes. truck. Gotcha. So uh, come by today for uh, lunch come, and dinner? Come see us. We'll feed you. Very nice. Kim, thank you very much. Hamlet's Eatery, a little something for everyone as long as you're either a meat eater or a vegan. <laughs> we have those two bases completely covered. <laughs> Walter Allen. Uh, what a great concept, though. You got to, at yeah. least those two, two bases covered for sure. Exactly. All right, you have a good vacation weekend, okay? Uh, I will be working uh, Monday on Labor Day, so uh, you enjoy your time off. I will be here at work. It's the okay. responsible thing to do. Lab <laughs> I couldn't get the day off. Laboring <laughs> on Labor Day. All right, Charlie, thank you. Aww.